Coffee fed it across. Nenema has shot. It went wide. Rebound. Sillinger scores! Jardin again. Checked off by Yager. Tried to tap one for the breaking Barnes. It's out for Francis. And a pass stop made. Rebound Francis again. The Barnes What a play! 1-1. One, one. It's on the outside. Leclerc. Nenema. Hands back over for Coffey. Fed one over for Leclerc. Scores! For Slager. Pretty good recovery by Slager, but now the Flyers can outman, and this is Mike Sillinger with four. Save by Reagan. Another shot at one off and turn around score. It's beyond my comprehension. Puck fed back out to the point. Tapped by Warenka, chopped back by Kasparitis. Close off by Terry, and that time on Brown, and it'll cost two minutes. It'll be a boarding or a roughing call. Terry and ends up hitting Brown from behind. Rob Brown on the right, number 44, goes to play the puck. His stick is down. Terry moves in and drives him from behind. That's got to be a boarding call. The Flyers didn't like it, but Bill McCreary is very good at talking to the players. Just, just, just hold on for a second. Let me tell you something, all right? He lifted his stick, the guy turned. If he, if he had to turn, he'd be taking five. He's de Wait a minute. He's defenseless. His hands and his stick is down. That's what the rule said. The man's defenseless and he gets hit into the boards. It's a boarding penalty. Checking from behind is five in game. Penguins need a power play goal, as John mentioned, to get back in this thing. They're out of it right now. The Barnes and Barnes off second and for interference and watch old check turn around with a stick right there across the leg and you can see how Nina went down and he tried to get up and had trouble Desjardins across to Lindros again to get the umbrella set it's over to Coffey Desjardins and it's deflected in front shot and score very impressive there were some plays they got a third of their opportunities in this is struck a shorthanded fit it across the slate and score Check at 8.30, a short hit and goal. They're coming fast and furious here. Four goals in the span of the first eight and a half minutes of this period. Back to a one goal game again. Took a blow to the head, knocked the helmet right off, and he is dazed. Now he's in trouble. The two linesmen and referee are over trying to watch this melee as they're going after Kasparitis. Oh, man. The glass here in Pittsburgh is that new heavy glass that doesn't give. And when you get hit into it, it's a jar. Lindros, he's having trouble getting up. Mike, he's really having trouble. He's over near the penalty box, and he's just dropped to his knees now. He is dazed fully. John Worley, the trainer, tending to him. Kasparitis is still out on the ice. He and Desjardins are having some words, and Gerard Gauthier, the linesman, gets in between them. Brenda Moore, Leclerc, Morenka are the three players who have dropped their gloves. Well, I don't know why. I mean, it was a good hard hit, I think. But I don't know about being congratulated for it. Lindros, oh, the shoulder, you can see, Mike. Lindros had the puck in his feet. That's a good clean hit. Lindros looked down for the puck. Kasparitis never left his feet. He led with his shoulder. That is a clean hit. And Lindros has the puck. He reaches for it around Stu Barnes. He's looking for it. Here comes Kasparitis. And the shoulder of Kasparitis went right into the nose of Eric Lindros. It was a shoulder into the face of Lindros. Oh. That's a clean hit. Unfortunate for the big E train. He was looking down for the puck, and I always have a concern with what probably is a concussion. Eric's brother, Brett, had to retire prematurely because of concussions, and you hope that for the big guy here, he's okay. I mean, that's a big, clean, hard hit. I don't much like players high-fiving each other at the bench, though, when you see an injury like this. David and Goliath 
Goliath because of the size of the Flyers and you can see Leclerc he too has gone towards the be the locker room area. Lindros just didn't see it coming. That's a it's a clean hit folks. That's a clean hit. It's a classic. And then at the bench Morozov and players well I guess Eric Lindros has wreaked some havoc on the Penguins over the years. And Ron Francis has now returned from the locker room so he'll be ready. You can see the puck loose. So old check went after it, and there's the cross check. Ooh, and Desjardins got a cross check into the head of, of old check. Throwback to old times. When it was Schultz and Selevsky and two Kellys, one from Ooh. Philadelphia and one from Gosh. Pittsburgh. And Urbano and wrestling and all of that tough stuff. Boy, it's getting me. As a player, Mike, I love to play in games like this, and most of the games that were like this were played right on the spectrum. Of course, I didn't have to battle as much as I was an old leaky goaltender, but the adrenaline flow on the ice, you get into it. Dave holding, shoveled one that was passed up by Reagan, a half speeder that was thrown oh. the wall, and what a freight train by Rod Brindamore on Straka. That was a clean hit, too. What a punishing check, but Straka took it really well. 33 of the period. Seven left on the kill. Yager muscle back on. And when you're on your heels, it's easy to knock you off balance. See how he stops? His weight is back. Yeah, it was a cross check, actually. Desjardins used the stick to shove Yager down. Mike? Yeah, Andre Johansson. Uh, and Johansson now gets to sit in the penalty box. Good call. Is, ooh, that's scary up near the eye. Accidental as he tried to lift the stick. Of Ninema. Ninema appears to be okay. Ooh, awfully close to the eye. You see that? The left side, the left corner of his left eye. Puck taken by Yager. Yager with a shot blocked down. Another shot score! Morozov! Tie game! And it started back out. The Penguins have got a three on one. It's Yager moving in. With 4.50 to go. Podine a shot. Blocked down by Reggett. Scoops it in and covers and plays off. 4.48 to go. Third period. Penguins 5. Flyers 4 with Snarl. This is a live look underneath the stands here in Pittsburgh as Eric Lindros is walking on his own to the ambulance before he, I'm sure, is headed to the hospital. He was holding the back left side of his head when he started to walk down the hallway. And I tell you what. I'm glad he's going to the hospital to be taken care of, but I'm even happier that he's able to walk on his own, Mike. Well, that's one of the healthy signs after a heavy hit from the man with the puck here, Darius Kasparitis. Played back along, and it's kept alive by Coffey, but not exactly. It was outside that line, and so an offside is called. One went off Leclerc, but he's able to cover it. Leclerc feeds it on back. Desjardins puts one knocked down by Orlison. Controlled by the Penguins. Stoke back up to Yager. Four to go. Stop! Oh, a little bit of ill will on the ice. Just some standing around shoving. James Brown will be coming up next from Hollywood. Final score of our contest here this afternoon. The Pittsburgh Penguins six. Philadelphia Flyers four.